Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Champaign County, Illinois farmer Darius Harms doesn't like red tractors. No, his feelings for farm alls go a whole lot deeper than that. Dad was a red man. He was born with red tractors. My family was IH. Both sides of the family was international people. And uh, we're still proud of that. I guess I just like to have them all. <laughs> yeah. I love my tractors. Darius won't say just how many red tractors he has in his collection now, but this may be the most important one. New farm machinery was still rationed just after World War II, but this 1946 Farmall M is the tractor Darius's dad did manage to buy and have delivered in the middle of the night. I was up I was wide awake. I helped him unload. It was a real, it was a big thing in my life. I remember that day till I died. You know, it was, a, it was really a special day because farming was in our blood, you know, and that's, that's all I knew at that time. And, uh, you know, it, it was just a, a real big thing to have a new tractor and have a big tractor that we could look forward to using. What we call a black market tractor. They would deliver this late at night. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning when they had to unload this tractor. And, and we had to keep her nailed behind closed doors for three months. I can remember that as a kid of 10 years old. To keep its purchase a secret, this so-called black market tractor was hidden away for a while. But for the harms, it was worth the wait. This was the Cadillac of the tractors at that time. I started driving tractors when I was five years old. He had a small tractor that I could use. And, but this was the first of the bigger tractors that I could use. The other ones were all two-bottom tractors, and this was a big three-bottom tractor at that time. Well, it had a starter and had lights, and it was a smoother running tractor, and it had a road gear in it, and we could move back and forth between the farms, and uh, it was just a big step for us to have a tractor like this. The M cost Darius's dad $1,650 back in 46, and they worked it hard. But in 1955, they traded it for a new, more powerful Super MTA. Darius didn't see the old M again for 40 years. It was sold there, and uh, it was gone until 1995. Just accidentally found her back. What a big day that was. You know, it just, I can still feel that one. It was about like, about like getting it the first time. You know, just a lot of years later. I thought about this tractor a lot because I spent a lot of hours on it. I had no dream. I, in my wildest dreams, I didn't think I'd ever find it back. Then came the fateful day when Darius and his son Dirk were on their way to get some farm supplies. And we come by the uh, dealer there, and he said, uh, Oh, Dad, there's a couple of OMs over there. I said, Yeah, there's plenty of M's in this world. And on the way back, he talked me into stopping, taking a look. and we. When we drove up, I didn't even get clear stopped. I told him, I said, I know where that tractor comes from. He just told me he'd get out and go look. He said there'd be two holes in the front of the hood. And walked around there and they were there. It was bad shape. It was rusted out. The motor was full of water. And we had to do a bunch of work. If it was just a regular M, it probably wouldn't have been worth saving. Rough as the old tractor was, there were still all sorts of signs that this wasn't just any farm all M. Everything that we uh, had put on it was all there yet. And on these brakes, there's not very many tractors that got these brake systems on it. And them two little holes up in front of the hood, I never will forget them. They wore through when we was cultivating. We'd done a lot of cross cultivating, you know. To, and that was a rough ride. Here's something else, you know. The uh, original tractor came out. It didn't have this piece on it. You always had to reach down from the seat when you locked the brakes. Like when you're grinding feed and stuff, you always had to reach down with your finger and pull that up. And so uh, my dad and I fabricated this little lever to kind of take care of, just pull up there, up here, and you could lock your brake from up there, keep your tractor in line and so forth. This knob here, we put on the uh, nine speed, 
transmission uh, the M and W Gear Company put out. It had a cheap old knob on it, and then we found this porcelain knob. And that porcelain knob was a tricolored knob, and it was still on the tractor when we got it back. So that was another earmark I'll never forget. Darius entrusted the job of restoring his dad's old Farmall M to his own sons, Dirk and Derek. My two sons worked on it and, and uh, got, brought it back to better than it originally was. Because this was one of them tractors that come out there after the war, and the, it was kind of an orange, very dull paint, you know. We had once repainted it because it looked so bad when it come out. And uh, the boys had done a lot of work on that, and I just wish uh, Grandpa could be around. But he'd, he'd have been proud of them kids. I think back about my dad a lot, all working hard in the milking cows, and grinding feed, and hauling manure. This tractor was just something that he dreamed of. Gone for all those years, this tractor was something Darius never dared dream of getting back one day. But now the family's Farmall M, bought in 1946 by his dad, restored nearly 50 years later by his sons, is one that will never get away again. It feels good to have the back under the back in the saddle again, you know. Real lucky day in my life. I felt, uh, you know, for the first day when we got it, I felt awful lucky as a kid, and I guess I felt like a kid when I got to get it back again. That's uh, part of the family, and we're still on the family farm, and it will stay, no doubt. That, that tractor will never leave.